Hey, good evening, Heather. So the organization is the Women's Defense Network, and they're focused on training women how to use a handgun for self-defense. The founder of this organization is encouraging women to not knock the idea until they try it. The sound of gunfire is jarring to some. One shot on the numbers! But for professional shooter Maggie Mordaunt, it's just another day on the range. Today, the group she's with is mostly made of women. Women tend to think that uh, the firearm is scary. It's a fear Mordaunt and her colleague Brenda Osborne are working to crush through firearm self-defense training. Today's program focused on learning how to operate a handgun safely, the basic fundamental skills of shooting safely, learning to use the gun for self-defense, and fitness, nutrition, health, joint stability. If you can't get up, under, through, around something, then what good does any advanced training come? Training more daunt feels is especially important for women. The percentages out there that women are seen as soft targets, especially moms who are home alone with their kids. That overall desire for self-protection echoed among the women in today's training. If I hear someone break in or come in my home, I want to be able to defend myself. I just want comfort and understanding of using the gun for self-protection. And while guns might not be a popular self-defense choice for some, Mordaunt says... Come out and get a deeper understanding of the use of firearms. I just really think that it's the fear of the unknown. Now these courses are catered to women. The instructors are female, but they are also open to men as well. There were some men over at that training today. For more information on the Women's Defense Network, you can actually head over to our sister station's website, news3lv.com. Reporting downtown tonight, Faith Jesse, CW.